on this RV short we're gonna fix something that just aggravates me when I'm out camping and I'm using the dinette I'm sure this bothers some other people but what happens there's velcro on the back of these but there's not on these actual seats and if you look at this one here you'll see it's moved forward and it gets kind of aggravating to get in and out of your seat so we're gonna attach velcro squares on the back and hopefully that'll hold that in place so we'll get to that and I'll show you how that works out here in a minute now you'll notice when I take this loose it does have a little bit of velcro in here it runs all across the back which is great it only has two spots in the back so that's okay for that back piece but we're gonna get that out of the way but when you pick up this piece here there's nothing on it so we're gonna put just try it out with two squares on the back of that corner and we'll see how that works now my biggest problem is I don't know how well this is going to stick to this material on the back so we've stuck it on here we're just to hope that works the best eventually if this works out we'll have to maybe put a full strip in here we'll see how this works we're just going to take a I don't have the same color so we're going to use white and black so we're going to line this up here put it in place and stick it to the wood on the other side so what we've done is we've peeled the uh, plastic off the back of these and now we're going to stick it down and press them and hopefully they stick so what you can see here is what i was afraid of is it does not stick to the material very well it sticks to the base pretty good i'm actually going to put some staples two staples in here but i'm going to have to take and sew these onto here and we can do that by zipping the covers off and taking it and sewing those patches on there so that's what we're going to have to do so you'll see i went ahead and took my cushion out of the out of this part here took my cover off and i'm going to take this down and now sew these in place and we're going to test this out on this first one and see how it works Well, I'm not claiming to be a seamstress for by no means, but at least I got those sewed on, the four squares. And I've had a little trouble with my sewing machine, but it worked out pretty good. It's got a mess underneath, but as long as it holds, that's all I care about. Now we're going to go get some staples to staple those other sides in. So I used a staple gun, went in and put four staples in each corner. To hold that velcro in place now we got to put our cushion back on and we'll see how that works so got that down and it really stuck really well because i mean i, I pull that up now and a whole paneling piece comes up so works out pretty good i think it's going to actually work tie that in there and that's going to keep that from drifting out i hope and we still got to do the other side and so there we got that other side done my sewing skills aren't the greatest, but at least it's going to hold these into place. And we'll put this down. And hopefully that'll keep it from drifting forward. Well, that's about all I have for this RV short. Uh, looks like that's going to work. We'll let you know in the future if this doesn't work out. But I think it's going to keep these from sliding forward and back. And uh, if you have any more uh, suggestions on what you might have done, Put it in the uh, comments and we'll uh, see you again on another one of these RV shorts.